In this video, you'll learn how to select the right Enphase system profile for your goals if you are enrolled in the California Solar Billing Program called the Net Billing Tariff, also known as NEM 3.0, with the utilities PG&E, SCE, or SDG&E. First, let's review how the Net Billing Tariff works. It has two key components, import rates and export rates. Import rates are the price you pay for electricity from the utility and they are generally very high, especially in the evening. Export rates are the price the utility pays you for sending solar energy to the grid. Export rates are generally very low. However, during the months of August and September in the evening, export rates are very high. During these high value periods, your Enphase energy system can discharge your battery at full power and send a lot of energy to the grid to earn you substantial credits. These credits accumulate during this two-month window and are applied to charges you have in future months when you buy energy from the grid. Now let's review the available Enphase profiles or operating modes so you can select the option that best suits your goals. The profile options are AI optimization, self-consumption, and full backup. AI optimization maximizes bill savings. Self-consumption maximizes energy independence, and full backup keeps your system prepared for a power outage. The full backup profile is only available for systems with backup power capabilities. AI optimization has replaced the previous system profile of savings mode. What is special about AI optimization is that it learns from your energy consumption patterns and predicts when you'll use more energy or less energy. It then decides whether to use the battery to avoid peak electricity rates, or to sell energy to the grid when valuable. Every day, AI optimization may operate a little differently, depending on how much energy it expects you to use, how much solar energy is produced, and the constantly changing import and export rates. For example, in August and September, you may observe that the battery is discharging at full power from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. The end result is the highest possible net savings because the credits earned by exporting energy outweigh the cost of importing energy. AI optimization provides both maximum savings and environmental benefits. The next profile option is self-consumption, which maximizes energy independence. Self-consumption prioritizes the use of solar energy by your home. If there is excess solar power, it's stored in the battery. If your solar system isn't producing enough power for your home, the battery will make up the difference. You'll only use grid energy if your solar and battery can't provide enough power. In self-consumption mode, you also have the option to export energy specifically during those high-value hours of August and September evenings to earn credits from the utility. Choose this option if you would like to have the benefits of both energy independence and some bill savings. The third and last profile option is full backup, which will keep your battery ready for a power outage and should only be used in an emergency. The battery will always be kept at full charge when you're connected to the grid. We don't recommend most homeowners leave their system in the full backup profile, as they will miss out on the significant bill savings which are maximized by the AI optimization profile. If you want to be prepared for grid outages and also save money, you can use either AI optimization or self-consumption and turn on the StormGuard feature. StormGuard will switch your profile to full backup if a weather-caused power outage is likely and your battery will charge up. It's important to note that there are a couple of settings for your Enphase energy system which determine whether your system can export to the grid. In the Enphase app, tap Menu, then System, then Site Details. Under Grid Connection Type, it should say NEM 3.0. And next to Battery Mode, it shows you whether your battery was registered as export only or import only by your installer. Export only means that your battery can export to the grid, but can only be charged with solar power. Import only means that the battery may be charged by the grid, but is prevented from exporting to the grid. The AI optimization profile will maximize savings whether your battery mode is export only or import only. The battery mode can't be changed on the fly because the utilities require notification as transformer restrictions may apply. There will likely be an application fee to change the battery mode, and you may need to get support from your installer with the paperwork. 
To select your preferred system profile, tap Menu again, then Settings, then Profile. Tap Edit and choose a profile. If you choose AI optimization or self-consumption and your battery is in export only mode, your battery will automatically export to the grid. In the self-consumption profile settings, you have the option of disabling discharge of the battery to the grid. You'll also want to make sure the correct utility tariff is selected, as it's required for the AI optimization profile and maximum savings. Tap Menu, Settings, and then tap Electricity Rate. The import rate and export rate should be one of these, depending on your electric utility. Let's do a recap of the system profile options. The profile AI optimization will maximize bill savings, self-consumption will maximize energy independence, and full backup will prepare you for a power outage. Our recommendation is AI optimization, as it will potentially save you hundreds of dollars per year compared to self-consumption. Now your system is set up properly for your goals. Thanks for watching.